Natural paints are on the whole more environmentally friendly because the ingredients that they use are sourced from natural ingredients uh, and there's no sort of toxic byproducts in a sense that are produced um, and it means they can ultimately go back to nature so most of the natural products won't really hurt the environment when they're ultimately recycled at the end of their life. They're also generally a bit less toxic. If someone's highly chemically sensitive, I head them towards the natural products. That said, there are a few natural products that you do need to be aware of. Even orange oil can be um, irritating to some people. So on the whole, the natural paints and finishes uh, that I sell and that maybe other people in Australia sell are made by companies who have people's health as their core interest in the manufacture of the product. So generally speaking, natural products will be better for people's health because they're made with that specifically in mind. Most of the natural paints are a very matte sort of paint and any matte sort of paint can potentially show a bit of shadow lines if it's not applied carefully and kept a wet edge. So that would be one of the core things that I would point out to people in choosing a natural paint. Natural wood oils have their own um, style of application which is basically to saturate the timber, um, wipe any excess off, let it dry for a day, put another few coats on in a similar manner. Um, natural paints on a wall do look slightly different to an acrylic paint. They, because they're made with natural ingredients, that quality somehow shines through the paint. Um, so for example, they'll generally be a softer look, so they're a matte looking paint which creates a softer look. It has slightly different light refractive qualities, so it will create, in general, a softer environment. Um, they can be vibrant colours or they can be subtle colours. Uh, so yeah, the range of colours is possible natural paints. Um, but I would say they're slightly different. To me they're actually very beautiful, most of the natural paints. I guess I see the distinction between supporting companies who are specifically choosing to head towards sustainable products, sustainable manufacturing. Um, so I've specifically chosen companies like Rockcoat and Murabond who have had as, as a core of their ethos for a long time to make products that are not harmful to people and not harmful to the environment. And so in supporting those smaller companies with your dollar and with your buying power, um, you're supporting a, I guess, a sustainable economic production sort of model in our society generally. Uh, natural paints differ from uh, petrochemical paints in, the, as the name suggests, they're made from products from nature. Um, predominantly grown oils and um, citrus extracts um, and minerals that are mined for purpose including silica, clays, feldspar, uh, all minerals that are very widely and broadly available and plentiful in the world um, and because of their abundance there's no real risk and they, the mining of those minerals does make minimal impact on the environment. Uh, petrochemical, it differs from petrochemical products in that most of the ingredients are going to paint tend to be byproduct products that are you know, from the petrochemical industry which is largely motivated by providing fuels um, for internal combustion engines. So you can see there's distinctly different um, aspects of both uh, pedigrees of paints and the, we, we have a strong preference for natural paints in that their impact on the environment is very low, both on the indoor quality, indoor air quality of the homes through the manufacturing process, through the application process and certainly through the generation of raw materials. Um, whereas 
petrochemical paints nowadays have made progress in removing a lot of VOCs from the end product but the impact on the environment and the employees right through the production and supply chain is um, far more hazardous and perhaps harmful than natural paints. Um, human health is uh, far less impacted by natural paints. Uh, there aren't no volatile organic compounds in natural paints. Um, volatile organic compounds, is, or VOCs as they're commonly called, um, represents a whole family of chemicals that have proven to be um, harmful to people, either their respiratory systems or their central nervous systems or their reproductive systems especially. Um, they can c cause surface irritant, uh, skin surface irritants. Um, and certainly products that need to be avoided. Um, so by having none of those in the raw materials and in the final product or in the production process, there's far less of those in the environment. Um, and you know, that's a strong preference of ours that we keep those sort of products out of the environment. Um, VOCs um, do produce um, in poorly ventilated buildings uh, um, a set of conditions known as sick building syndrome where you have a build up of toxic contaminants that come from paint, carpet backing, glues, adhesives, laminates, construction boards, largely from formaldehydes and related products but not necessarily just formaldehydes, um, also including solvents. All of those items, all of those um, chemicals are, are toxic to people um, and we sell a lot of our natural paints into homes where a lot of children are present or pregnant women are present and because of the body weight of a child being smaller the impact of a chemical is far greater you know, on a relative basis than to an adult. Uh, so you can see a lot of motivation for people to remove those chemicals from their environment so their children have every opportunity to develop into healthy adults. Modern natural paints, there is an extensive range of um, individual products. Um, so depending on the surface, there are a range of primers and undercoats, a range of top coats, which includes wall paints, enamel lacquers in three different sheen levels, uh, most of the products tend to be water-based. There are some plant oil-based products, obviously, uh, for paints. Um, so, generally, if there's a surface out there to be painted, you can find the right natural paint product to paint it. Um, and it's uh, complemented by a range of timber oils, uh, concrete finishes, uh, floor sealers, and um, stains that are available just depending on what you need to finish and what, what look you're after.